We had set out too long to catch this big old chunk. We need to debark this old girl. Oh, yeah. With this burn, we're putting off a lot of heat. Oh, my heart is beating out of my chest. Tires are touching water. For those of you who have been around the channel for a little bit, you may have seen me with a man named Tim put a transom, basically a brand new transom, in an old houseboat. Today, we're going to be using some Tim skills, I like to call them. Today is transom day. Now, most of the time when you have a dugout canoe, you just dig out the boat. But when we pulled this tree over, she was hollow. As you guys saw the other day, I attempted to just take a chainsaw and thin this whole thing out, but then we found the giant cracks. So we need to cut an even end to the front and the back here so we can add a transom on. Now the idea behind the transom is just gonna be some treated plywood, some fiberglass, some goop, as we like to call it. Get a little goopy with it. But if we can get this thing level, we can stick plywood to it flat, we can screw it to the boat, and then we can come in and add a couple layers of plywood because I imagine this thing's gonna sit pretty low in the water. So there's gonna be a lot of water pressure on the transom and the bow. That's what two years of working port time in the tree service does for you. That's pretty clean. I mean, there's no way that we're gonna get a chainsaw cut just perfect, which is why we're using plywood that we can kind of manipulate. That went so much better than I thought. I feel like we can definitely use this. That makes me feel pretty dang strong. Yup. You standing where the ants are, and I see a couple on your boot. Oh, more than a couple. Yeah, I was trying to be, you know, not. Oh my God, dude, you're covering ants. More like, hey man, don't panic, but you got ants in your pants. If we need to take those pants off, we can. Take your pants off. All right. The goal is to erase this mistake from existence. And we might not even put it in the video, you know? It could be something that's just like, what happened to the last three foot of the boat? Gosh, I could put my extra large latte set right on that, honey. Like, could you picture that between the couch? Like, sit right on the edge of the rug? It'd be perfect. My gosh. $500, baby. I mean, two weeks of work. With taxes out, we could write it off. Expensive for the business. Oh, I just want to put my latte on top of that piece of wood. Dang it. We still have a little bit of the lip from the first time I tried to thin her out, but... I think we could seal both sides relatively easy with plywood and some screws and some goopy goop. I know this sounds lame, but I feel like throwing a knee up on her might be the best. No? Yeah, no. <laughs> don't act like you don't like filming that. We have clamps. Why would we do that when I can do this? Yesterday, I came to the log and I knocked all the stuff that was sticking out, the charcoal. Gosh dang it, that's why you buy the 12 pack. I did not get all the ash out of the boat by any means. That was gonna take a lot longer time than I anticipated, but we do have somewhat of a smooth surface on the walls. The plan for the front and the back. We took sheets of plywood earlier today and we marked the exterior to give us the exterior piece of our transom. Then we marked the interior. So we're gonna have two separate sheets of plywood, gonna give us a little bit some firmness. We just went up with a sawzall and cut these funky shapes out. If you can tell, we have a little bit of a gap all the way around. If you've seen any of the fiberglass work that we did on the transom of the Itty Bitty with Tim, we left a little gap and we came through with fiberglass filler. They sell it at Home Depot, Bondo. Tim had that special ooey gooey. Ah. The plan is to secure the exterior, leaving the interior kind of free floating. Once we have 
We're gonna use the Bondo fiberglass filler, secure this piece of wood, come around with fiberglass to make sure the outer rim is sealed as good as possible. Then we're gonna put Bondo between the plywood and the edge just to make sure this thing is water sealed on the front and the back. We fit the pieces of wood earlier, got some screw holes to make sure we had everything proper. It looks way better than I thought it was gonna look. Keep in mind, we gotta use this on both sides. Cancer and reproductive harm. Amen. Trying to pack it in here where it can seep down into our gaps. I just breathed in a wow. I just took in the hardest breath yet. Trying to pull in the old natural polka dotted poplar look. Native Americans used to crush this style. That'll be super cool. <laughs> it is the final day. We're feeling confident. I think we're gonna flip her over, put a layer of glass on her, maybe a little bit of sealant, and hopefully we'll be floating with gravy in a few hours. Or sinking. Let's do this thing, bro. Two. Four. Don't you let it eat your shins, boy. It might be harder to do than we think. You wanna see if it's easier to flip it this way? <laughs> It's coming towards us hard. <laughs> I didn't even stretch, dude. No! That backfired. All right, flipping it by hand is pretty much impossible. It's got so much weight at the bottom of the hole. We got reinforcements. We try to get the bucket up under there and roll it without scarring up the log too much. So this is the bottom of the boat. Now the reason that we just went through all the trouble of getting this log over, there is cracks at the base of our transom. Now it's sealed on the inside, but the exterior is gonna let water push into there. So the goal for the rest of today is to make sure that the boat is actually sealed on the outside. The inside, we got plenty of goop in there. And I think we have a solid contact between the transom and the log itself, but you guys can see on the exterior, we got gaps. And gaps is just places for water to come in and wreck our build. We'll say though, she looked pretty good on her tummy, eh? Game plan for moving this thing. We have an old boat trailer. We have a giant tractor coming up a backhoe. We're gonna roll this thing over. We have some 3,000 pound straps, which I think this thing probably weighs, I mean, a small pickup truck. I don't know. It's super heavy. We're gonna flip her over, strap it. Hopefully we can rotate it, have it sit on its bottom. The plan for the trailer, we want it to sit right down the middle. We're gonna strap it to the sides go to gravies. Only fear I have is that when we lift it up with the straps, it could put so much pressure on the sides and we have nothing bracing the middle. It could just snap the middle of the canoe. I hope you're ready for greatness, gravy, cause it's coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. We got some 3,000 pound ratchet straps. We could just hook it with a bucket, but Risk the chance of just clawing out a piece of the wood would suck. That feels sketchy. Can't get the women to leave you alone, huh? You see how we're up. That's my least worry. Staying clear. Staying very clear. Come on. Beauty. Beauty. Smooth. It's made me feel good. A little bit more confidence in the strap. Dripping. Oh, 
Holy smokes. Watch out. God, it's the ratchets. The straps are doing fine. Yeah, I think I only heard like two cracks. Not gonna lie, that went surprisingly well. We have had a few projects that we've gotten to this point. We've gotten to the lake and they sank and you guys never saw them. So just hoping we don't three-peat that in 2023. We're down one tail light, but I mean, we're gonna be driving to Alabama. So it's like most people driving in Alabama are 14 with three GEDs. going nowhere no 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 no. Today's video is sponsored by PDS Debt. They have customized options if you're struggling with credit cards, personal loans, medical bills, or collections. Basically, if you're paying your debt every single month and your balance is just not going down, PDS might be the solution for you. They roll all of your monthly payments into one low interest-free monthly payment so you can pay it off quicker, avoid some, some dirty little fees. And the cool thing, if you have $10,000 of eligible debt, you qualify automatically. You don't have to have good or fair or even bad credit. You just qualify. If you're interested in a free debt analysis, you can click on the link in the description or go to pdsdebt.com slash AO. Takes 30 seconds. Check it out. Thanks, PDS, for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the log. Yeah. What y'all got now? Uh, <laughs> don't I don't know yet. Don't know. <laughs> this is our this is our attempt at a dugout log boat. Is it Cypress? It's Poplar. Make sure you get get good video. Yeah. yeah. Well, Post that, it on the page right. so I can watch. Y'all have a good one. You have a good one. I have the man, should I say, who knows how to judge perfectly. He lets me know what he thinks, doesn't care about my feelings or emotions, and puts me in my place. Gravy, six months ago, there was a 60 foot poplar tree okay. sitting there beautiful. Been sitting there a hundred years. Then all of a sudden, tornado, wham! Oh, okay. okay, breaks it over, Takes roots it are exposed. It's just been over. Do you want me to expose it for you again? No, okay. <laughs> you told me you didn't want that in the videos. <laughs> you got more of a professional job now. It's been five months, Gravy. I know it doesn't look like much, but I've gone through chainsaws. I've gone through a lot of wood. Looks like it. this has been through a haunted forest and back might have cranked up the chainsaws a little early before halloween season yeah the haunted season hit i'm not a big haunted house type of guy though so i don't go and experience those types of things you don't see any more gravy because gravy's gone i stopped getting scared of haunted houses after the first time i paid taxes then you'll never be scared again. <laughs> I know poplar is not the choice of wood. There's a lot of different things we could have done. Could have spent a lot more time on this thing, but we got it to a point where I believe it's sealed. It has a super sturdy. Jeez. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. I'm nervous. We have an hour of daylight left. If it floats, it is prime time. Gravy's Lake is just. Woo. It's juicy after the seven to three job. It is juicy there's fish rolling on top right now shad are just getting their bellies <laughs> munched on we know what lures to throw we know where to go it's a perfect time of day five months to this moment does it float only one way to find out is to try it out <laughs> let's do this thing oh i'm nervous should i just be in it i think just go all in and go in yeah all right Mmm. Oh, my heart is beating out of my chest. And now that I'm in it, it just feels like it's so not weight distributed. The weight's not distributed equally. I'm slurring words. Back me in. Oh gosh, dude, I'm nervous. The anticipation. The water is so not warm. I bet it's not. 
And the temperature's dropping as we speak too. The sun did just go behind the trees and it's dropped like 10 degrees. It's gonna be 40 degrees tonight. Oh God. Let's see if we sprout any leaks. Tires are touching water. No water coming in. Okay. Okay. No. No. We're floating. Come on, gravy. <laughs> Come on, gravy. <laughs> it's funny. Yes. I don't. I, I didn't bring a paddle. Oh, jeez. I can't gravy. Come on. <laughs> Give off. me some. So easy. Beat your chest or something, dude. Ugh. Get both hands. <laughs> I have a. <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're the Hulk. Okay, we have a very small leak on this side of the boat. I don't think it's gonna sink the boat by any means, but there is water coming in. And I don't know if it's something that as we add more weight, it's gonna add more pressure and potentially sink us, but there is no water coming in on this side. That's a needle, dude. I've had so many failed projects. I just knew down deep in my heart, this was not gonna go the way that we had planned it. And boy, oh boy, is it. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. Uh, yes. This was the side I was most nervous about. We have a slight leak, nothing crazy. That is a slow leak, and that's something that we can fix in the future and still fish this afternoon. She floats, and I think it can carry me and Gravy, trolling motor, battery, all the goodies. Gravy, I feel like the man right now. I thought it was going under when all that water started coming up the side. Did you see the back? It looked like the back was trying to get down under there. Yeah. So treat this boat like the most unstable boat you've ever been in and we'll be fine. Okay. Try to step down to the middle and just ease in. Okay. Yes, sir. You know, if people are enjoying this, then I'll pimp this thing out. Okay, you good? All right, can you reach the trolling motor from where you are? Yes. Amen, brother man. Let's do what we were born to do. Okay. And and boat in a log. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're just drifting in a piece of driftwood. Does it look ridiculous? Oh yeah. Okay, that is just so cool. So from a maneuverability, one to ten, what are you giving it? She drives straight perfectly. The turns takes her a little bit longer. One to 10 maneuverability, probably like a six to seven probably. It is a really cool vessel to be in. It's kind of weird because it just has like a wall in the front. It doesn't cut through the water at all. No. It just kind of makes the water look like it's generating behind you. But I don't know, it's so low to the water. You almost feel like you're in the water. It's crazy. Give me some grave. Oh. Oh, okay. Gosh. I think the only thing left to do is catch a big old fatty. Catch a big old fatty, yeah. Catch a fall town girl with her lipstick on because she's been eating cross. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have roughly 30 minutes. We feel very confident. Me and Gravy have swapped spots. We got the yum dinger. We got Gravy's secret sauce. And we're headed to, I think we need to go straight to the island. Over here? Yes. Okay. What do you think? Uh, okay, okay, yes. If I remember correctly, there's a tree that came off this island on this side. Well, let's let some lures fly. We don't have long. I've been dying to get out here ever since I started feeling good outside. Oh uh, yeah, I know today is like perfect, yeah. It is the day to be wet in a line. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, she leans a little bit. All right, I'll cast first. Just trying to see what we had going, I don't see it. Okay, I'll cast now. No way. I'm on. It could be nice. Oh, it's like a two or a three. Okay. A chunky look. Oh, dude, it might have gutted it. It ate it soon as it hit the water. No. Oh, no, it's good. <laughs> First cast. Okay. Come on. Oh, man. It's fall season. Nothing like carving a log for six months so you can do this with your best pal. <laughs> dude, I thought he gutted it. First cast, off the point. First fish, guys. See if we can't get gravy on or maybe catch a big one. See you, buddy. All right, dude, I'm leaving that canal for you. You know that canal's holding fish. See, oh yeah, definitely should be. Okay. You think we should make a cast right there where the spillway is? I kind of like it. You do? I kind of like it. I like the idea. I like it when you like it. Hmm.
I don't like where we are right now. I do not either. I think they're feeding on the points, Grave. And we're back in a cove. You can't force a bass in a cove when he wants to be on a point. Oh, God. I have a feeling you might just get jacked. Let it soak, let it soak, let it soak. All right, work that thing, daddy. Oh, ah, oh, frick, I'm in my dang pylon. Oh, crap. I'll let line up for you. All right, you're gonna catch a fish, bro. I feel it. Down deep on my love handles, I feel it. No way. Set the hook, boy. I, I, I <laughs> said on, that bro. time off of freaking another pylon brought my arse broke. <laughs> Crank him. Oh, he's putting, oh. Up a, putting up a fight there. Okay. He's, a, he's not big. Still a fish? Oh, swing him back around here. Come under the right. Okay. <laughs> this is like camouflage for bass fishing. It's like a duck blind. We're literally floating bass structure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bass for old gravy. Okay. Here you go. Oh, okay. Dude, what I, you want? I don't like him like that. Hand it to you with the butt out? Uh, yeah, I prefer the butt. Got him. Show him to that camera in front of you. Ooh, ah. We'll see you later, homie. Wow. That is a, that's a release if I've ever seen one. Body slammed him. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord almighty, man. What's happening back there? Not good news or good news? I just was in Walmart the other day and they were out of Gary Yamamoto's and now I know why. <laughs> Do you not have a single hook in here, son? There's got to be somewhere. That's what I'm saying. I got some. They're rusty. I had to work. I had to imagine. Not a huge fan of these hooks. Gravy only has the old antiques in here. This boat looks like the bed of my truck now, but you're rigged. Just a little cool off puddle if we ever need it. Is that from a leak or is that from the battery? <laughs> Definitely a leak. Okay. Nothing to be alarmed by though. Okay, that's good news if that's not sarcasm. I was just like, why is my butt soaking wet? Oh, your booty's getting wet back there now? Yeah, and I mean, I've had a wet butt before. Don't get me wrong. Public presentations in high school, khakis and me. It was like an all out war scene. Jeez Louise. Yeah. You must have been a khaki man before I got there. Cause I don't think I ever saw you wear khakis a day in my life. Well, there was a picture of me in the school yearbook getting a reward and it looked like somebody had painted a dark strip right down my crack. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back through and look at that a little later on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, jeez. Oh, Gosh dang it. <laughs> I do, the noise you make when you set the hook does something to my soul. <laughs> I need a moment just to breathe <laughs> and recover after that. I have that feeling, the sun's setting. Yeah, you know there's that one big fish. This is the time, every time me and you fish, this is where one of us hooks a giant and then we have to drink a blue Gatorade because things go wrong. Just a casual poplar floating through. This is so cool, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> We're either gonna catch a really nice fish or flip a poplar. I like the odds of option B. <laughs> Our puddle's growing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I got a fish. I'm on. Good gosh, I'm mighty. Come on, buddy. He's fighting like a spot. Good Lord. <laughs> Grab him, <Yeah>. Gravy. <laughs> yes, sir. That's a spot. A little multi-species action in the poplar. Fish number three. Pretty good luck. See ya, man. Are we on? Is the trolling motor in the way? Very nice, my friend. Very nice. Surprisingly. Hey, brakes, brakes. You put it in park? Park. Park. I think you got a future pulling boats out. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were going to push me, the truck, and everything we own into the, into the lake. <laughs> Gravy, we have done it. We turned a tree into a boat. We floated. We got soggy butts, maybe me more than you. Yeah. It felt like I sat on the toilet for 45 minutes to avoid my problems and Goodness. stood up and my feet were asleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, that sucks. We've Man, all been there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for watching to this point of the video and hanging out with me and Gravy. If you guys want to see us use the log boat again, Gravy said we need to modify it a little bit, get some comfortable butt cushions. Yeah. We'll do overnight on the log to boat. I'd love to use it because we spent a lot of time making her. Either way, Thank you guys.
Anything to say? If you guys uh, would like to send any well wishes for our 26th birthday. 26 tomorrow. <laughs> the cash app is. Don't you do that. <laughs> Don't you dare. I love you guys. We're going to go celebrate gravy. <laughs>